We go to the northern part of Mississippi, and we are joined now by Mississippi Valley State women's head coach, Ashley Walker Johnson. Coach, thank you for joining us. And first of all, how has things been going with all of the COVID-19 restrictions? How have you been able to adapt? Um, it, it was difficult, uh, but it wasn't that difficult. Um, no one could really go anywhere. The main thing um, was us being able to communicate via Zoom, and we did that. Uh, but more so than ever is having them be able to get some type of exercise in, get to a gym, even though a lot of things were shut down, whether it be running around their neighborhood, is keeping um, their bodies physically fit as best as possible. Um, so this was a different time for all of us. Um, a lot of my kids did a good job, you know, with what was available, um, but being able to communicate with them daily, um, it, was, it was okay, it wasn't that bad. Uh, when you look at recruiting, how difficult was it to recruit when you could not physically go out and contact players and the players that you were able to bring in, was that contact made before COVID or did you have to do a little bit more coercing or, you know, communicating and recruiting in order to get them to sign? It's funny because I think it put us all on an even playing field uh, up to a certain extent. The kids we have on our roster are post-COVID kids. Everyone we were dealing with and we've seen and everything, we didn't get any of these kids. So the kids we have now are all post COVID kids. Um, we did our, our Zooms, we did our FaceTime tours, we did our virtual tours. Um, we watched a lot of film, of course, because we weren't able to get out. Um, so our top list, none of these kids were on it. Um, and so we kind of had to go back and bring in some kids that was on you know, your list too and then find some new kids. So, you know, the fact that nobody could visit, I think it helped out a little bit, uh, but we did a really good job with our, our Zoom videos as well as our virtual tour. Uh, when you look at last season, what were some of the highlights and how do you hold on to those highlights and transition it into a better season coming up in 2021? Last year was a huge struggle um, because we were older, we had kids coming back. And, you know, we had a, a, a small window of success. And to come into a season and then not capitalize on any of that was difficult. Um, I want to say one of the main highlights was Azaria Howard, uh, because we got her towards the end of the season where we wanted her. Um, Shelly Thickpen played a, a huge role for us throughout the entire season. Uh, the light was dim a lot here, and that's difficult to go through a whole season like that. Um, but to have certain kids back, we're really excited about that. Um, you know, they had to kind of go through and see there's preparation every day. You have to put yourself in position to be successful. You have to train your body. You have to also believe in. And so I think the light went off. The light went off later than expected, um, but they have a brand new outlook, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, when you look at uh, this year's squad, what excites you about them, and what can we expect to see from uh, Mississippi Valley State? Well, I have four point guards. <laughs> That's the first <laughs> excitement. Um, you know, that was an area of just uh, it wasn't a good area for us. So, um, and we're we're deep at the guard spot. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Our guard play is a lot better. Um, we're bigger, we're more athletic. Um, everything that we were needing, uh, we have. Now again, uh, we look good right now. You know, there's some, some days we look really good, but it's when you go up against someone else, you know, when it becomes middle of the season when you may lose two games in a row. Now, what are you gonna do? So I'm really excited about our guard play. Um, of course, I have Azaria Howard in here. Um, I'm really excited about her and the steps she has taken. And so I just can't wait for us to be able to get off the ground and really get going. Uh, as far as off the court, a lot of things have been said about social justice, about particularly in the state of Mississippi, people are encouraging people to go out to vote. How have you talked to your young ladies about using their right to vote and make change? Well, we have a few things that we're going to do here um, with women's basketball. And the main thing is giving them a voice to voice how they feel. You know, there's a lot going on. And 
everything doesn't affect everyone. Um, but to see the killings of our unarmed black men on the internet live, to see it replayed on television, that, that's heart wrenching. And I know they have uncles and fathers and brothers and best friends and people that have been affected. So giving them a voice um, to voice how they feel. Uh, our team has registered to vote. Um, we're gonna lead the march to go vote on November 3rd. Um, and just allowing them to feel that their voice matters. Um, so again, for me, it's giving them the platform and giving them the opportunity to speak. Uh, one last thing before we let you go. Uh, Jaquana Murray uh, got a coaching grant with the Women's Sports Foundation. How important is it even after a young lady finishes playing and starting a new career to help even your assistant coaches develop as young ladies and also as professionals? Oh, it's very important. Um, we are in a uh, dominant male profession, you know, and sometimes we don't get all the opportunities. Um, so for us to be able to send in our information um, about trying to get this grant um, and for them to pick us is is exciting for us. Uh, Jaquana Murray is a player I re recruited before I left South Carolina State. Um, so it was really excited for her. She did some time overseas. And so now we're bringing another piece in that literally just finished playing. She played collegiately and she played overseas. Um, and there's a different perspective there for her and the players. And we need that. And we need more women and we need more minority, more black women as well, uh, to be able to have an opportunity in this profession. All right. Thank you so very much and good luck to you this season. Thank you. Uh, happy to be joined by Azaria Howard uh, with Mississippi Valley State. Uh, Coach said that you started to develop as the season went on. Tell me about the 18 point game you had against Grambling and do you think that was a turning point for you in your career at Mississippi Valley? Um, it was a turning point. Coach Walker always told me, she was like, you're better than what, you, what you're giving me. And that game, I was just like, I'm going to play to my best ability. And that's what I did. And I just went out there and played. And then from there on out, I played like myself. Very good. Uh, during the off season with all of the COVID-19 uh, restrictions, how did you stay in shape? And how difficult was it to stay away from people and try to still communicate with your teammates during your time away from Itabino? Um, it was very difficult because back home, everything was shut down and it's not really too many places to go run and do stuff. So, um, I try my best to do stuff at home, like in home stuff, um, communicate with my teammates. Um, we always FaceTime, text, communicated that way, Zoom calls. Um, but that's, Communicating with my teammates wasn't that hard, but the gym, like staying in shape was a little bit a little bit hard because we struggled with um, having stuff open and all that. I understand. Uh, do you think having so many Zoom calls uh, brought uh, your team closer together? Yes. I believe like we we learned each other through the Zoom call not able to be face to face with each other until August. Zoom calls helped us get closer and to learn one another. How difficult is it during the season to play in the post when you have so many other uh, tall young ladies around the conference? Where, where do you see yourself ranking in the rankings of centers and post players in the conference? I believe I can be top five if I just play my game. But it is, it's difficult playing in the post, but I just have to play my game at the end of the day and I can be, I, I can be top five. How excited are you to finally get back on the court and, you know, practice with your teammates? I'm very excited. Once we got here, I was ready. I was, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to play with these girls. Just sitting, just being in the room with them, being around them, I'm like, yeah. This is going to be a good season. I'm ready to get to it with my teammates. Well, thank you so very much for your time. Good luck to you this season. Thank you.